Nia Protocol, ticket code Nia, is probably one of the most exciting projects I've seen in the cryptocurrency space. A lot of cryptocurrencies and layer ones are having scaling issues, mainly Ethereum, and all the big players like Solana, Cardano, are all trying to talk about processing speed. But what Nia is trying to do is be the Matic but for all other crypto layer ones. So as we know, Ethereum has a lot of scalability issues. It's very slow, it's very clunky, and Matic is actually doing so well because it's scalable on the Ethereum network. And what Nier is trying to do is, is actually be the Matic, but for all other networks. So it's gonna be able to have a decentralized layer one in which it's open source and handled by users and developers alike to be able to create whatever they wanna make in order to help other layer ones succeed through transaction speeds, development, or any other issues blockchains may be having. So as usual, we'll go through the fundamentals and we'll come back to this chart and talk about the technical analysis Let's delve in a little bit deeper with Nia. Now, as I mentioned, Nia is a layer one. Now we all talk about transaction speeds and Nia can actually handle up to 100,000 transactions per second. But that's just what it can handle. Theoretically, it can actually handle, we don't know. And that's because of its use of sharding. Now Ethereum is actually gonna use sharding at Ethereum 2.0. And basically what sharding in is in a, very, in a very general sense is rather than validators validating each transaction on the blockchain, they'll be able to process or validate a very, very small amount of it. And so this transaction will be made up of very little tiny databases that will be validated by the validators. And will just basically make the network just as secure, but more faster because there'll be more validators validating all those transactions in the network. And Nia has this project called Aurora that's already out, which is basically an Ethereum layer two already. So it's already on the Ethereum network. And what that's gonna be able to do is help all those transactions that are slow on the Ethereum network, you're gonna be able to copy and paste them onto Aurora on the Nia network and get that same experience, but without having to pay those gas fees and wait those wait times to use the Ethereum network. And this, like I said, this isn't just exclusive on Ethereum. Aurora is exclusive to Ethereum, but there will be other Auroras or other Nia projects that help scaling other layer ones out there when they start to get congested issues down the track. Basically, Nia is gonna be every layer one's friend in the near future, pun intended. One of the interesting things about Nia as well is that when I was doing research on this, they were actually able to get funding when they first created the Nia protocol during the bear market, which is pretty outstanding. They were able to get around $35 million from venture capitalist in order to get the funding needed to create the Nia protocol network. And wow, what a great investment it would have been because Nia is doing fantastic on the technical analysis side. Let's have a look at that. So having a look at my trusty website here, one of the things I do if you've been watching my channel is I look at the cryptocurrencies ranking to their Ethereum value. This is a great way to see if the cryptocurrencies are losing value to Ethereum. So all those red that you see, that's all losing to Ethereum. So let's have a look at Nia Protocol. So it's ranked number 25 on market cap, which is pretty high. It's actually had a fantastic run up. We'll have a look at the charts in there in a second, but we can see in the one year mark and year to date, very similar, 120%, it's outperformed Ethereum. Six months it's outperformed Ethereum by 285%, three months, Call it almost 54%, it's outperformed Ethereum. In the last month, it's outperformed Ethereum by almost 80%, and it's outperformed Ethereum in the last week by almost 65%. In the last 24 hours, it's underperformed Ethereum by about 4.5%. I really wouldn't neglect that, but basically what you're seeing here is it basically ticks all the green options here, which is it's outperformed Ethereum consistently. Very easy way to initially screen your cryptocurrencies is just pinging them to the Ethereum value. Let's go back to that chart I mentioned earlier. So this is Nia's chart, and it's just a fantastic, quite volatile, but still fantastic chart. Because what you've been seeing is when this bull run sort of started or where the second phase of this bull run started, which was around the 20th of July, one of the things I'm really looking into is how high these cryptocurrencies are going. Some cryptocurrencies, I did a video on Chainlink where I basically said it only went up 200%. My Litecoin video, it didn't go up much at all. So when you're looking at cryptocurrencies, you're looking for really nice growth. This is almost a 1000% increase. So it's a fantastic growth already. It's come back down and we're sitting at basically about 20% from its all time high. But what's really interesting about Nia that I wanna dive right into is actually the volume. The volume is absolutely massive. Big volume means big money, always remember that. And you can see this blue line here, this trend that I've done. And basically we see the volume in green go past that. That usually that means that smart money is doing something but they've come in quite heavily and basically shot right through with a massive bar. So if you basically bought near and the early signs and you see this massive bar, this massive pump, it could be a fantastic opportunity to sell. But I'm guessing you, most of you are watching this haven't purchased near or are thinking about it. But basically all you need to know is that it's quite volatile. This 
blue zigzag line here is just showing you the volatility of it. It's a great way just to in instantly look at the chart and see the volatility in it. So I quite like that aspect of it. We'll see how near reacts in the coming days because like I said, we did, we did have high volume and we are a little bit on the downtrend, but we are in this sort of Christmas New Year period. A lot of smart money is taking a break at the moment. So see how things play out. Definitely no rush for crypto at the moment. Of course, it's cryptocurrency, anything can happen, but generally around this time of the year, the market is pretty quiet. But it'll be interesting to see what happens with Nia in the coming days. I would love to pick up Nia on the 50% mark, which we did actually have an opportunity just a couple of days ago alone. So you saw three, four, five days of massive volume, big push coming up. Very interesting to see indeed, especially this time of the year when most smart money is gone. But like I said, big money coming in. The yellow line is my trend line. And you can see that even when all other cryptocurrencies were bleeding these last week or two, Nia has been fantastic at not going down too far from it to its support level. It's done a fantastic job hovering around its 50% mark, which I also like to see. So this is a very good chart. You can see on we just hit 45 on our RSI, pushed right back up, and we're currently sitting at about 65 on the RSI. And this is why I like the RSI tool because once you hit 70 on the RSI, it's okay to take a little bit of profit because generally when we hit 70 on the RSI, we generally come back down a little bit gearing up for the next round. So I, I generally, as a rule of thumb, thumb, do like to take a little bit of profits on the 70 and the RSI simply because it's a well-known tool and a lot of traders, I believe, would take some profits on the 70 and the RSI tool as well. But like I said, it's the market. We don't always know what everyone else is thinking who currently hold near. The white line is the 50-day moving average and you can see that, well, it's always held roughly around its 50, above its 50-day moving average, which is quite bullish actually that it's maintained that and the blue baby blue sort of color is the 200 day moving average which we came pretty close to testing on the 4th of december when we had that big dump from bitcoin but like i said look at how quickly it rallied and recovered fantastic to see have a look at what price target 80 on the rsi would be for near that would give it to about 23 dollars 93 cents which is pretty good considering near is not too far from there already and that would take near about almost 70 percent from where it currently is to about 24 dollars that's another profit target that you could look into potentially to take some profits and 90 on the rsi which near actually did hit would actually take near to 45 american dollars which is about a 210 percent increase from where it currently is so there's a lot of growth potential for this cryptocurrency it has great fundamentals the creators are incredibly smart and intelligent. One of them used to work for Microsoft, another one used to work for Google. So they have some pretty good resumes. They were able to get funding during a bear market. Clearly there's a very easy way to identify interest with big volume coming in. You see what happens with the sell-off, but generally when you see big bars like this, it's usually smart money buying. So you have to wait for a pullback because the smart money's already made its move. So that's my analysis for Nia. I think it's a fantastic cryptocurrency, a little bit overpriced at the moment. I want to see it dip a little bit more. And like I said, it's just everyone on holidays we do have a little bit of volume like i said a little bit but not enough to really make a decision but i want to I've, i'm going to set my alert for near to pick up at around call it nine dollars and eighty cents so i am adding my alert here for near at nine dollars and seven cents call it and that's going to give me my alert ready to go so i hope that helped with this video i'm going to link my are we video i think more people should watch that one it's one of my great cryptocurrencies that i'm looking at for 2022 but until then happy new year and i will see you on the next video